to hollow a cube in Blender is very easy. There you go. All you need is a cube. And here's one right here. That's very handy. All you need to do to hollow it is go over to the modifiers tab, click on modifiers, add modifier, generate, solidify, turn x-ray mode on so you can see it, and increase the thickness. There you go. You have a hollow box. Even a pointy cube is easy in Blender. Select the box, turn x-ray mode on so you can see it, add a modifier, generate, solidify, increase the thickness. Notice that it isn't particularly even. Click even thickness and get something that's pretty even. It's actually surprisingly even. But what if we have something like this? If we try the same procedure, click on the body, go over to the modifiers tab, add modifiers, generate, solidify. Let's turn the X-ray mode on and increase the thickness. To something reasonable like that. We turn X-ray mode off. Oh, some to a face, a fingers, and I presume the toes. Yes. Well, this is the problem. The solidify modifier can't handle when it intersects with itself, and these fingers are very, very thin, as are the toes. The reason that the face has gone horrible is because this model has an internal eyes and mouth, and they have got solidify modifiers on them as well. So it's pretty much a mess. What magic on the solidify modifier we're going to use to fix that? And before I do that, I just want to say why we might want to use Blender for doing this in the first place. I would normally recommend that if you're going to hollow your model, then you do it in your slicer, either Chitty Box or Litchi Lychee Litchi Lychee, because it does a very good job. But it has to be said that with Blender, you can have complete control over where you put your hollow. You can have it in one leg, you can have it in the head and in the torso. And you can adjust the thickness. You can have different thicknesses of hollow for different places, as long as you know how to do it, of course. One other advantage of doing it in Blender is that if you want to put holes in your model for draining resin, if you're 3D printing, it's much, much easier and more precise to do that with Blender. All you need is cylinders or whatever shape you like and a Boolean, once you have a hollow model, of course. So how are we going to do the solidify modifier to make this model hollow. We're not. We're going to get rid of the solidify modifier and we're going to use something else. Now I'll do the basics here now and then at the end I will show you complications that might arise. But we're just going to do the basics. This will work in most cases. What we do is we're going to select our model, which is called Zin, which is over here, Zin001. And all we're going to do is we're going to select the vertices that we would like to turn into hollowness, if you see what I mean. So we're going to edit mode and we'll turn X-ray mode on so that we can make sure that we have access to all of the vertices very easily. And we're just going to select the bits that are going to be hollow. We know her fingers are a problem. So we will take something like this. We will just ignore the hands. If we select from say here to about Let's say there. And then by holding shift, I will select along here. And then I'm going to use the circle select by pressing C and increasing the size of the circle and just drawing the rest in like that. Because we have X-ray mode on, we'll be selecting the vertices at the back of the body as well. You right click to get out of circle mode. What we're going to say now is that these areas are the bits that were hollow and these will stay solid. Now you could put another circle up here if you wanted, but she's got a eyes and a mouth bag in there and I'm not entirely sure whether that's gonna work. Um, I would normally take those out first, but this will demonstrate the, the process. Now, what we need to do is we're going to make a vertex group of these. If we go into the little green triangle down here, press plus on the vertex groups, 
we can rename this if we want to. I can't be bothered. I'm not going to. And then we assign the selected vertices. That's enough with vertex groups. Now it's going to seem a little bit odd, but don't worry. Bear with me. It's not difficult. This is my model, Zin001. And we're going to go into object mode. We're going to duplicate her with Shift and D. Left mouse click so that she stays in the same place. So now you'll see there's a Zin1 and a Zin2. I'm going to select the Zin1. I go into modifiers, add a modifier, deform, displace. That doesn't look very good, does it? But let's just adjust the strength down a little bit. The model inside, that's Zin001, as you can see over there in the outliner, that's the hollowness. If we look at this now, the selected model, Zin01, is what's going to be the hollow. It's quite thin over here. It's quite thin over here. And the hand's a complete mess, of course. But here's our magic. We created a vertex group. If I select this option here, press the vertex group that we created, the hands and the feet are now solid. I think I'm going to make this a little bit thicker. That looks a bit more sensible. That's going to be our hollow. So I'm happy with that. So we need to apply the displacement. OK, we're going to go out of X-ray mode at this point. Now we can turn off our outside model, which is in 002. And we have this rather skinny looking model in here. If we select her and go into edit mode, you'll see that the vertex group is still selected. If it wasn't, we could go into the vertex group and press select. But if I do a control I, it will select all the other vertices. And remember we're working on the model we have displaced and all the bits that we didn't displace are now selected. I'm just going to delete those X vertices. And this is going to become the inside of our model. But we must do one more thing to it before it can be. And that is to select everything. Go into Mesh, Normals, and Flip. If we turn on Face Orientation, we'll see I deselect everything that she's now red. And that means that this is the inside of the model. And if we turn on Zin002 zero, zin zero, zero again, turn on X-ray mode, you can see in there how nice that looks. We want to join these two models together. We have to be in object mode. Select Zin1 and Zin2, Control J. We now have only Zin001. What I would do is I will export this model and we'll have a look at it in a slicer. So here it is. Here she is loaded into Chitibox. And I haven't done anything with her, but if I move this down, you can see she is indeed hollow, except there, the hands and the feet. So this works. So there you go. There's just one more thing to consider really. And that is if your model has bits and pieces hanging off, like this lady has a pouch here and a little wallet thing there and a belt, you don't want those really to be displaced. So when you're making your selection and your vertex group to decide what is hollow, I would seriously advise making sure that they are not selected. You don't want them part of your displacement. So if you'd like to see what YouTube thinks you want to watch, please click on the video in the top right. Um, otherwise, click on whatever I think you might be interested in in the bottom left. But I hope this video was useful for you. I hope it was clear. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.